just want to take you on a quick tutorial of Sequence Designer. I'm going to start with going to File, Open Project in the top corner. And I'm going to open a G37 sedan project to show some examples from. I'm going to start out here up top, looking at the various menus. You can import and export sequences. You can import and export LED configurations. We also have a wiring guide mode that will give you a visual representation of what channel is assigned to what LED. Really easy uh, access for when you're going to install. This list in the top right are all the LEDs and the channels that they're assigned to. As you click them, you can see that it will circle the corresponding LED on the left side. Um, they're all red because this is obviously a brake light setup, but for various other setups you can choose white and amber or etc. Now down here we have the various inputs and functions and the step editor which will define what channels or LEDs or groups of LEDs are on at any given time. Now you notice here that channels 19 and up are faded out and accessible. That's because this particular build only is utilizing 18 channels. If you added more channels to the configuration, these options would open up. So as you click down the steps on the left, you can see as the steps progress, new LEDs are on and new LEDs are off. There's also a third option to make them dim. We have a simulate option here where it can actually create a video preview for you demonstrating what your animation is actually going to do. You want to make sure for a break setup you have turn signal checked, brake checked, and you can also select other options if you have a different LED array or even want switchback, which will disable parking when you have turn signal engaged. You also can set the minimum number of turn signal pulses, giving yourself one touch, three turn signal. Input 4 can be reprogrammed to do other functions besides just car startup or, start or shutdown. quick example of show mode you see here as steps progress it animates the LEDs in a different style than the turn signal and if I wanted to I can check these boxes and change whether the LED is on off or dim obviously I'm not helping with these modifications but I'm uh, just demonstrating how you can very easily change what LEDs are on or off You have various options for each step as well. You can turn the lights all on, all off, dim. You can swap things, shift them to the left or right. You can copy and paste steps, which is incredibly helpful if you're doing any kind of looping. So here the speed is uh, important to note. So you see speed transition 50 versus 300. I'm going to show you what that does here for a parking animation. So you can see here the last steps you get kind of a fade. So the larger the number for transition speed the slower it's going to go and if you step it down from all bright to dim or dim to off what it's going to do is very slowly transition and give you a nice fade out. You can also play around and you know turn everything on and off as I was mentioning. You can even reverse the entire sequence, top to bottom.
And last but not least, we have the compile feature here. This will submit your project to our server to be compiled into a hex file that you flash to the sequencer using the MPLAB software. Go ahead and name it, save it wherever you'd like. Select 5.0 for the sequencer version, and then select where you want to save your hex file. When you see hex file received, that means everything is good to go. You'll get a status confirmation page showing the amount of memory you used. And obviously, if you have a lot of memory remaining, you can go back and make a longer show mode. If you have any other further questions, you can contact support at ghostlighting.com, and we'll be happy to help.